one of the major problems in tissue engineering is being able to provide this uh, transport of nutrients and waste uh, throughout the whole volume of a tissue. And in nature, that's done through uh, vascular networks, these uh, 3D networks of uh, veins and arteries that transport nutrients and waste uh, to and from the cells uh, throughout a large volume. Uh, and uh, but so one of the challenges is how to build artificial networks that mimic that kind of structure. Uh, and it's difficult for several reasons. One is that it has a complex architecture. There's uh, has this tree-like shape, a uh, very complex structure. And another limitation is the fact that it incorporates many different sizes of channels. They're very small near the tips and larger near the trunk of the tree. Uh, so that's what we've been trying to address in our work. So one of the ways we've tried to address this problem is to develop a new method based on electrostatic discharge that allows us to make uh, almost instantaneously uh, a network of microchannels that resembles uh, an actual vascular network. And so the way we do that is to implant a high level electric charge inside a plastic block like this. Uh, so then once that charge is implanted, when, we, when it's suddenly discharged, that energy release leaves behind this network of uh, fractal-like uh, microchannels uh, that uh, exit through the discharge point. And so it's almost exactly like a lightning phenomenon in the atmosphere uh, when the charge uh, is built up in the atmosphere and then that's energy is released through discharge resulting in lightning. Uh, almost the same thing happens here except you can see that pattern is preserved uh, through this uh, fractures that are inside the material. And so we've uh, developed ways to make interconnected networks uh, so that we can flow uh, pump liquids uh, throughout this entire uh, microchannel network. Uh, so we're excited. So this, uh, these microchannels have a structure that replicates many of the features actually of uh, 3D vascular networks and living systems. So to apply this for tissue engineering, uh, we envision uh, either using this to construct an artificial network that can be implanted into a living system or to uh, then seed cells around these vascular networks and use those uh, to help the cells grow uh, into a larger size uh, organ-sized tissue. Uh, that currently is difficult to do uh, today.